Hello and welcome to my channel where this video is all about me doing my bullet journal setup for October. And fun fact, October is my birthday month so y'all better be celebrating me in the comments. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Am I? Who knows? You better wish me a happy birthday, I swear to god. Anyway. For this month's theme, I was really excited to do it actually because I thought it was going to be really cute. It's a bee and honeycomb theme I guess. The bees just really tie it all together. So right now you're seeing me do the title page and honestly this is the best page. Like it's my favourite and I mean low key kind of just goes downhill from here so. <laughs> Um, feel free to stick around though because it is actually pretty nice. It's just this is my favorite one. Turned out really cool. Now for this next page, it's a fun hack I have when you fuck up so bad that you really don't want to just cover it all in white out. Just cut the page off. Cut the page off. Pretend it didn't happen. It's fine and then just continue on on the next page. I did a cute little honeycomb monthly layout. The layout's pretty small in the grand scheme of things because I found that I literally didn't write anything in in last month's one. However, I thought it might be too small to write anything in these, so I did at the bottom write a little like list form thing just to put important dates on the page just so I can look at where they are and then just write the weekly plan on all the week pages. Once I fill in the monthly layout with the two different yellow colours I put a drop shadow in. It was a bit hard to figure out where the shadows would go on a hexagon. It ended up looking a bit weird so I just tried fixing it with the black but it ended up looking even weirder so who knows. I think that's kind of the theme of this month setup. I learned that I needed to come in with a plan because I didn't come in with any plans this time. I mean not that I came in with any plans at any other time for any other setup but I feel like this one really could have been so much better if I had just planned out each of the pages beforehand. I was just going off as usual and thinking it would be okay but this setup was really cute, the theme was really cute but I just think my execution of it was a bit subpar. It could have been a lot better if I had not been winging it as much but you know it's still really cute. It's still probably one of my favorites. I think as soon as I add the little bees buzzing around it makes it look a whole lot better so shout out to the bees for saving this setup for me. <laughs> Here I am finishing up my mood tracker but I probably should have quit while I was ahead again and just kept a really simple outline not this thick dump truck looking shit but I don't know maybe it'll look cooler when I finally put in all the colors for my mood. Next I'm bringing back the habit trackers because I've got habits apparently. No I don't. I just I started using Duolingo to practice my Japanese and also learn some Korean because it's surprisingly pretty easy to pick up if you know Japanese fairly well. Like I'm no fucking linguist but the two languages languages mirror nicely so I think I've managed to pick up just the basics pretty easily. So I've got a Duolingo tracker and I was like well I can't just have one habit tracker I'll have a second and so I put work? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's just to show myself that I'm not doing just nothing in a day. At least do some kind of personal work or school work, preferably school work. So I finish up the little spread with a few bees roaming around, very cute. And then I go on to my weekly planner, which isn't one of my favorites, but I somehow managed to pull it together at the very end. It went through a lot of changes because it just never looked right and it still doesn't really look right and I think it's because there's such a big difference from the left page line weight to the right page line weight but it's good enough honestly. It does the job. 
it really just needs to do the job and it's got the honeycomb theme i think i fucked up a little with the shapes because on the left with the to-do list i did septagons for some reason like a seven-sided shape but the shapes on the right hand side are all hexagons and i've been using hexagons for every other page so I don't know why those four to-do lists were di any different, but you know, we live with it. And at this point, my camera was basically running out of film. So you see what I got up to, which was probably where I should have left it off. But you know, of course I didn't. Of course I kept going and I made the outlines thicker on the left side, but you know, it's done now and I'm not redoing it because it looks fine. But yeah, here's the flip through. I think it turned out really well considering I didn't know when to stop. And I think that was really due to the bees. I think the bees just always tied it together. So it ended up really looking cute. And I think it's probably my fave so far. But yeah, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.